Hi, I'm Router Bob with ShopSaver CNC. Welcome to ShopSaver Minutes. You know, we get asked a lot about the motors that we use on the ShopSaver CNC's. And so I thought I'd take a little time and explain some of that technology to you. What you see here are the basic two types of motors that you might find in one of our machines. If it's a lower power application, that could be a plasma or maybe a small machine, then we probably would use a stepper. And this stepper motor is actually a Sanyo Danka from Japan, so it's really high quality. Now, once the machine gets to a certain size and the speeds uh, are more, it takes, it takes more power. And in that case, then we switch up at that point to Mitsubishi servos. And that's what this is. Um, one of the reasons we do that is because you'll hear me talk in some of the videos about us developing machine tool grade CNC routers. So to do that, we basically use the, the same type of servo motors that you might find on, on a big machine tool company. Let's take a closer look at this Mitsubishi servo motor. Technically, this is a digital AC servo. Now, first off, we selected Mitsubishi because it's a really high quality uh, producer. In fact, some of the, the finest machine tool builders in the world use this technology. So, you know, their criteria is the same as ours, reliability, longevity, and, and accuracy. So that's why we selected those. Now, these are closed loop, and here's what that means. They know what's happening is the easiest way to do it. So, for instance, let's say you have an abnormality. What is an abnormality? Well, in woodworking, it could be a piece of wood falls off the table and jams between the gantry and the table. That causes a mechanical problem. These motors sense that immediately. Not only does this motor sense this one, it can monitor the other motors. So as soon as that abnormality happens, everything stops, so you don't tear anything up. That's what closed loop feedback is. Now, so that's really how this works. Now, <clears throat> let's dig into it a little bit more. What you see on the end here is an absolute encoder. The control motor always, always knows where it's at. Now, the way that works is actually a glass encoder in there, and we use glass because it doesn't change with temperature very much. Some of the competitors use plastic encoders that are just not as accurate. As the machine warms up, the, the, the plastic changes size. The other thing is we actually check positions about 10 times more per revolution than a typical competitor does. So these motors are, are much more accurate, which means they respond to problems much quicker than maybe one of our competitive machines have. You know, the whole entire Mitsubishi package is just part of our Shop Saber MMP control system, and it's really turned out to be a great piece of technology for Shop Saber CNC. You know, one of the reasons we've done so well with the Shop Saver CNC routers is because the motor design and specification is all integrated into our FEA system. So when we specify a motor, it's, it's all tied into the needs of the machine. And a lot of companies don't do that. Sometimes they just put something on there. If it works, it works. We're not that way. That's why even when we put stepper motors on a smaller ship, we never have a problem with them because everything is engineered to take take all this stuff into consideration. And you know, that's what you get when you deal with Shop Saver CNC. I hope you enjoyed this Shop Saver Minute.